So I'll get started with my presentation. So I, I hope I'm vis uh, my slides are visible and I'm audible. Hello. Uh, yep. Sorry, I couldn't find my unmute button. Yes, okay, your sure. slides are visible and we can see you as well. Great. Okay, let's get started. So I'll explain my research, which is a two-stage stochastic optimization of a virtual power plant. So let's get started. Yeah, so the goal of my research is to remove the barrier of integrating renewable energy in the electricity markets. And as a result, we will be able to come up with a greener and a better future. So let's get started with the problem setting. So we have a producer who owns a solar farm that produces solar energy, and we have a consumer who owns a electric vehicle charging station with bidirectional charging. So the solar farm uh, owner places uh, uses the solar generation in order to supply electricity to this consumer, which is an electric vehicle charging station, and the electric vehicles arrive and I want to be charged with the desired amount. The, in, the, in our setting, the producer and consumer are together the same entity, and that's why we refer to them as the presumer. And also the pr producer presumer also places dead energy bits to the electricity market. So with this setting in mind, what we want to do is we want to find some revenue maximizing strategies that place optimal bits in the day head market and also satisfy the EV charging demand while minimizing the penalty. So uh, what, why, why is it a difficult problem to solve? So the problem is that it is difficult to difficult to forecast the solar generation due to environmental stochasticity as solar generation depends on the environment and other factors. Also, there is uncertainty in when the EV or electric vehicles will arrive, what will be their initial energy level. And also we have some limitations in the EV battery capacity and charge and discharge rates. Uh, as I mentioned, these e electric vehicles are bi-directional, so they also support discharging. So this is already a very difficult problem to solve, but in our case, it is even more difficult because we have a third entity, which is the electric markets. And in placing inaccurate bids to this electricity market will reduce the revenue of the presumer due to paying some penalty. Moreover, at certain times, solar generation can exceed the EV charging demand where we have a surplus energy and this energy we need to sell, sell back to the grid. And then again, we have to keep in mind that there are two types of prices, which is the real time price and the day ahead price. So we have to, we have to make sure that we are, when we are selling, we can maximize our profit given these two markets. So you can see that this problem is in, in and of itself a very difficult one to solve. And today I'll be showing, uh, go, I'll be going through my, our exciting research, which attempts at solving all these uncertainties in order to find the maximum um, profit for the prosumer, as well as making the, making sure that EVs, uh, solar panels are more easier to integrate in the market. So let me explain to you the strat bidding strategy first, which is a stage one strategy. We have 24 hours of the day and at each hour of the day the presumer places a certain energy bit which is shown by these purple lines also we have the stage 2 ev charging strategy where you have an electric vehicle arriving let's say 10 in the morning it wants to depart at 16 uh, uh, it wants to depart at 6 in the evening and like it, it needs to, it wants to be charged to a certain amount of energy so during this uh, during this 8 hour slot there are various ways that we can charge or discharge them as shown by this uh, green arrows the red values are the ones where we discharge the electric vehicle and the black ones are where we charge them. So I have just shown one strategy, but as you can see that by changing those values, we can come up with multiple different strategies. The, our solution approach goal is to find the optimal one, optimal strategy given the uh, uncertainties. So here we use a uh, optimization based approach, which is uh, which where we assume that we have perfect knowledge of solar generation and also the EV information. This is an Oracle agent and we use the, a mixed integer linear program that solves both the stage one and stage two at the same time. However, this is an unrealistic setting because you never know, you can never have perfect knowledge of this uh, uncertain variables, but our goal of coming up with this solution approach is to come up with an upper bound on the revenue that can be earned. Next, we come up with a more realistic and conservative online algorithm. This algorithm is uh, using this algorithm. The stage one is solved using the mixed integer linear program that I just described in the previous slide. We just solved the stage two using this uh, online algorithm. So this why is this a conservative? It is conservative because this online algorithm makes sure that the EVs are in, the EVs are uh, the EVs are charged to their uh, maximum limit that they can while ensuring feasibility, and it finds the best effort so that the EVs can be charged within the amount of energy that they had requested initially. Next, uh, we have a third approach, which is a reinforcement learning-based approach, and it is a stochastic optimization 
it falls under stochastic optimization. So in the, on the right, I have this diagram of how our, basically our, the reinforcement learning setting works. Here, uh, we do the traditional RL techniques do not guarantee that constraints are satisfied. And that's why we use a differential projection-based reinforcement learning strategy in order to keep it safe. The, uh, the reward function of this RL agent is equivalent to the profit. And upon convergence, the agent will give us the optimal strategy. Finally, we have some results of these two strategies. We see that there's a large gap in revenue generation and our goal is to come with strategies that can mitigate the difference. Thank you very much and feel free to chat more with me via Twitter or via email. Thank you so very much.